Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to use advanced search operators in Gmail. And these are really important if you're trying to find an email that just seems to be hidden or lost and you can use these operators to find it. In Gmail you do have the search bar at the top so you can just put in the name of a person or a word in here and that will give you a basic search. But if you want to use the advanced options we can click here on the search options icon. When we open up the search options, you can put in the name of a person that an email is from. So if I put this in here and click search, it'll bring up the emails from that person. As you can see, it gives a text here from colon and then the email address. When we're doing this as well, though, you could just put in, for example, the domain of somebody or an organization and it'll bring up all emails from that domain. Equally, it's the same in the to field. If you've sent an email to someone, you can put those names or domains in the to field to bring up those emails. You've got the subject. So if you know there's a word or a phrase in the subject line, you can put it in there. And the same thing applies in the includes the word. What I'd remind you is if you actually put the words in quote marks, you can search for an exact phrase. You can also put words in the doesn't have. So if you want to exclude something from your search, you can put that there. Next, you've got the size. So you can choose greater than or less than a certain file size for your email. And then you can put the amount. So I might put in 10 megabytes. So I'm looking for any emails that are greater than 10 megabytes. I've used this in the past when I'm trying to free up some space in my Google storage. Then you've got the date. We can see here it says a day, but you can also choose three days a week down to a year then you put in a date here and it would find emails from one day either side of that date and then you can choose where you're searching so if I click here it gives me some different options of where I might be searching an important one here is the mail spam and bin option so that basically means search anywhere and the last one you're looking for has an attachment with all of these, you can combine the searches. So I could say, well, I'm searching for an email from a specific person on that day. I know the attachment was greater than 10 megabytes and I've lost it. And then you can do that search. And hopefully these search operators will help you find the email you're looking for.